Now let's look at a proof uh, with tangents. Uh, we were trying to prove that tangent of x plus y equals tangent of x plus tangent of y over 1 minus tangent of x tangent of y, which is sort of like a trig identity in, its, in itself. So let's go ahead and get started and say that tangent of x plus y equals sine of x plus y over cosine of x plus y. And if we expand this out, uh, expand this sum, the sine sum term out, by identity we get sine of x cosine of y plus cosine of x times sine of y all over cosine of x cosine of y minus sine of x times sine of y. So how do we get from here to here? Well, um, we know that <clears throat> we know that tangent of theta equals sine of theta over cosine of theta. So let's try to get that into the sine over cosine uh, form. Let's add and push it together into one fraction. So um, let's do sine of x cosine of y. And we would just multiply every term by cosine of x cosine of x times cosine of y. Uh, simply because if we do so, uh, everything will be canceling out. So for example, cosine of y here will cancel out with cosine of y here. Cosine of x here will cancel with cosine of x. And same with uh, the terms in the denominator. So then let's go ahead and write that out. Sine of x cosine of y over our term cosine of x times cosine of y plus whatever that term is over cosine of x times cosine of y all over whatever this term is over cosine of x times cosine of y minus whatever this term is over cosine of x times cosine of y. And we'll just go ahead and fill in these terms real quick. Cosine of x, sine of y, cosine of x, cosine of y, minus sine of x times sine of y. And immediately we see that this term right here equals 1. And coincidentally, there's a 1 in the proof. So we know we're on the right track. Uh, let's simplify these down. This cancels out with this. This cancels out with this. <clears throat> this becomes 1. And this stays the same. Although we can see that there are two terms here, sine of x, cosine of x, sine of y, cosine of y. So simplify version, we get sine of x over cosine of x plus sine of y over cosine of y over 1 plus sine of x over cosine of x times sine of y over cosine of y. And noting that tangent of something equals sine of that something over cosine of something, um, we can reduce all of these terms down to tangents. So we know that sine of x over cosine of x equals tangent of x plus tangent of y over 1 plus, uh, we get tangent of x times tangent of y. And here we have a successful proof. All right, and there you have it, uh, how you do proofs with trig identities. Just make sure you know them very, very well. Um, or else it might look a little bit confusing. But once you know them, you should have the confidence to tackle any proof. And thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you on the next section.